our party is once again alive, well, and united. And with that, a slate of new party officers and village representatives featuring a mix of young, promising Democrats along with seasoned, familiar faces committed their effort to revitalize the party. I want our party to bridge, you know, any gaps or, or any, you know, bridges or factions or whatever it is. That's all on the past. And we're not going to worry about that. It starts today. Set to lead the party are Senator Rory Respicio as chair, Dr. Narissa Britannia Underwood as vice chair, John Paul Manuel as secretary, and Coy Torres as treasurer. All are running unopposed this Saturday. Before they take the helm, veteran Democrats offered some words of wisdom, including the last gubernatorial team to take out a loop, Congresswoman Madeline Berdalio and former Governor Carl Gutierrez. Both stress the need to get back to the grassroots when candidates used to knock door to door to campaign for votes. I was so disillusioned the last few years because we just didn't have any activity in our party. And it's true, the elders have to step aside. We have to be there able to advise you uh, as to how to go about it. But it's fun. The party work is fun. You got to have your mind and your heart together to put away all the past hurts and let's pull ourselves together to know what we want for this island and we have to be the ones to lead it forward. Gutierrez, a former chairman, was also joined by past chairpersons Joaquin Ariola, Pilar Lujan, Tony Charferis and Daryl Taggarty, who has served in the acting capacity since March. Senator Rory Respicio, who has served in the Guam legislature for over a decade, told supporters the party would be revitalized but would still continue to recognize those who paved the way before them. So you have a lot of talent within the Democratic Party of Guam and we're going to commit ourselves to amassing all of this talent to make our island stronger, build our party stronger and there's symbolism in everything that we do. Unlike Respicio, former DOE Superintendent Dr. Narissa Britannia Underwood says this is the first time she would be involved with the party in a leadership position. In reality, I just don't make any decisions quickly because it's a tremendous responsibility. I don't want to just be a figurehead. I don't want to be just a symbol of unity. I want